In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a hanging mass in equilibrium, and it is hanging at rest, and it's attached to one string that's angled at 60 degrees on both sides. Now, whether it's two strings or one, you basically want to treat it like two different strings. So we're going to go ahead and call this one T1, and then we're going to call our second one T2. And then if we solve for either of our tensions, those values are going to be the same. Now, the first thing we want to do as always, is we want to draw a force diagram analyzing our 40 kilogram mass. So obviously we have the force of tension from T2 pointing along this rope. And then the same thing from the other one pulling upward along this rope. And of course we have the force of gravity as usual pulling straight down. And that force of gravity is going to be mass times 9.8. So 40 kilograms times 9.8 which equals 392 newtons. Now, just like any other problem, when you are analyzing forces, you want to analyze them on two different axes, the X and Y. Now we are going to analyze it along the Y axis. And along the Y axis, we have a few different forces. Now, although it's one string, you, as I said before, you want to treat it like two. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the different components for our T2. Um, we have a vertical component. And then we also have a horizontal component as well. So we'll call this one T2Y. And we'll call this one T2X. And then for our other one, we have a very similar looking triangle. We have a vertical component, which we'll call T1Y. And then we have a horizontal component, which we'll call T1X. Now, if we're just analyzing the vertical components, we have um, two going upwards. So we'll call the T1Y positive and the T2Y positive. And then if you subtract the force of gravity that's going downwards, you will have no force because our object is at rest. Um, so one thing we know is that we know that because the angles are the same, that these two values are going to be the same. So we can go ahead and just kind of combine these two together and we'll call it 2ty. And we won't distinguish if it's t1 or t2 because those are going to be the same anyways. Okay, and then we're going to add FG to both sides. So that equals the force of gravity, which we already know that value anyways. That value is going to be 392 newtons. So basically, we're going to split that force up and divide both sides by 2. And then our TY equals 196 newtons. Now we could analyze these X components. Um, it's actually not necessary in this problem. So as long as we have one side of our triangle, either our red triangle or our purple triangle, and we have an angle to work with, which we already do, we have a 60 degree angle, then we could just use some trig to find all the other components. Now, what we can do is we can use this triangle because there's a 90 degree angle here. If this is 60, then this must be the complement, which is 30 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and use that 30 degree angle and I want the T2, which is the hypotenuse. And I have this component over here, which is actually my adjacent angle or adjacent side, excuse me. So we have the cosine of 30 degrees equals the adjacent, which is the TY side divided by the hypotenuse, which is the T2 side. And we already know this one is 196. So then what we can do is we can go ahead and cross multiply these two. And if we do that, then that is T2 equals the 196 newtons divided by the cosine of 30 degrees. And then that gives us a T2 of 226.32 newtons. 
Okay, and that is our final answer. That is the tension in our string. Now, what I did over here is when I split up my two triangles, I chose to draw them like this. Um, if you wanted to, you could complete your triangle by doing your X component here and your Y component here, and then you would have used the 60 degree angle. Um, that would have been completely fine too. So I just drew, chose to draw the triangle on the inside. Now, again, just to recap, if you're solving a problem like this, although it is one string, or possibly two strings, you're always gonna treat it like two strings, and then you're gonna draw in two right triangles with their X and Y components. Now, because these two angles are the same, that simplifies the problem quite a bit, and it tells you that both of them are the same value. That's why we're able to write just TY and not keep them as two separate unknown variables. So we're basically splitting that FG in half, which gives us our TY, and then once we have one side of the triangle and an angle, we can go ahead and use a little bit of trig, which we did here with the cosine of 30 degrees. And that gave us our tension in the string, which is 226.32 newtons. So I hope that was helpful to you. Thank you for watching and listening.